can also see the line so you can see that it is drawing a line from where it started and it's going where this lady is going so this centroid and the line will follow the path this particular lady is uh, having in the in the frame hello guys and welcome back to the channel so today in this video we are going to write a python script which is going to track a person in a frame and it will also draw a tracking line as per the movement of that person which means that we are going to draw the path where that person has moved in the frame um, where that person enters from the frame in the frame and where it goes out of the frame so again we are going to inference over a video file and let me show you the video file so we are going to use this video file where this particular lady comes into the frame from this particular position and then it goes out of the frame from this particular position so what we are going to do we are going to draw a tracking line from this particular path and then we will draw it somewhere here and then it will go to towards this direction so for this particular project i am going to use the same code i have used in person tracking and detection so let me just go to the pycharm so i am going to use the person tracking um, code and we are going to modify this particular code so if you are not if you're not sure how this code works, please go and watch the previous tutorials. So let's create another Python code. And I'll name it as draw tracking line. And I'm going to simply copy this code and we'll paste it. Now before starting the Python script, let's talk about the algorithm part and how it's going to work. So what we are going to do is that in our tracker, we are receiving the bounding box of the person. So first of all, we are going to save, we are going to calculate the centroid from the bounding box, which is very easy. We are going to save the centroid, centroid of all the detected persons in a particular list. And then we will simply use OpenCV cv2.line function to draw a line between the previous centroid and the current centroid. So let's go ahead and uh, let's quickly calculate the centroid. So calculating centroid is easy. I'm going to simply use x1 plus x2. Point zero. So this will give me the x coordinate of the centroid and cy is going to be y1 plus y2 and then 2.0. So this cx and cy is the x and y coordinates of the centroid. Now we need to append this but before that let's convert them to int so that it's easy and let's also draw a centroids or a circle so circle frame cx cy sorry cx needs to be this and cy and then four will be the radius and the color you can take any but i'm going to use uh, green color and thickness minus one now once we have this we need to append all the centroids in a dictionary so for that let's take a default dict from collections import default dict and let's create a default dict centroid dict default dict of list let's also create an object id list which is going to hold the object IDs for us so once we have this let's append this in centroid dict object ID dot append cx cy okay now once we have uh, appended the centroid we need to also add the object id in the list so before adding it we will we need to check whether that object id is already in the list or not and if it's not then we are going to add it so if object 
id not in object id list then simply add it object id list dot append object id also because this is the starting point so we are going to draw a line between the cx and the cy so for this i'm going to take start point equals to cx cy and my end point will also be will also remain same cx cy let's simply draw a line cv2 dot line uh, frame and uh, start point end point let's take color 0 cross 255 cross 0 and thickness to be 2 now in its else condition first of all what we will do is we will iterate over the centroid uh, dictionary so for points in range length centroid dictionary object id now first of here we need to check whether if it is not the end of the centroid dictionary because if it's the end of the centroid dictionary we we will not draw any line but if it's not the end we will keep on drawing the line so first of all let's calculate the length of the centroid dictionary and let's compare this with the current point so if not point plus one is equals to equals to length if it is not the end then we will simply calculate the start point which is going to be our object id point zero let me simply copy this and here I just need to replace 0 with 1 so this is going to be my first starting point start point but why it is showing us an error okay let's and in the same way we will have the end point but in this case we will take it as point plus one okay it's not uh, one second yes now it's fine So we have got the starting point, we have got the end point. All we need to do is we need to simply draw the line. So let me just copy this line and that's it. Let's try to run this code and see what happens. Okay, so we can see the lady is coming we can also see the centroid and we can also see the line so you can see that it is drawing a line from where it started and it's going where this lady is going so this centroid and the line will follow the path this particular lady is uh, having in the in the frame so now this lady will turn towards left and this line we will also see that it's also going towards left and you can see that the lady has exit the frame and our line has also stopped and from looking at the line we can clearly say what was the path of the lady so in this way you can write a script which can monitor or track the movement of a particular person inside the frame so that's all for this video thank you for watching it please like share and subscribe to the channel